music drowning me out? Usually I don't stream on this day. But we're cooking, so I figured I would. It's fine? Okay. Let's see. I don't know how I look. I haven't even checked. You're great. Hello. What's up? Oh, I can't see myself. That's kind of important that I do. There we go. And there's Sister Fu. Oh, these are not on well. Hello! Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's me and Sister Fu here. We're going to cook a little bit and then go celebrate Christmas with the family. So that's it. Are you ready for another like two hour stream? Little baby streams? Little baby streams are on Christmas apparently. Merry Chrysler to you too. Hello! People are saying hi to you too. Hi guys. You guys. The heck is there leaves on that tree? Yes, that tree has leaves. It's a holly tree. It's holly. Okay, that makes sense. It's a holly tree, so yes. Lots of dead trees around here. <laughs> what am I gonna get? <laughs> snarf! I miss you, Snarf. How was Disney? Did you have fun? Oh my god. Oh, I'm so freaking hungry. I think I'm gonna make um a little chai. While waiting. <laughs> Yo, thank you for here. I forgot six months. Yo, how are you? Thank you for your support. Hello. I feel like I'm so, I'm so tired. I'm ready for bed again. I did not get enough sleep. I went to bed. I couldn't fall asleep until six because I was showering and setting this up. And then Thor, 45 minutes later, was like, I gotta move. And I was like 98% asleep and then he moved and it woke me up. And it took me another hour to get back to sleep. I did some dinner, so I woke up. That also woke me up. Um, yes, but you talked at full volume. You're like, Thor, come. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't sleep through that. It's okay, I, I don't move, so you wouldn't know. <laughs> Well, because the more I move, the more awake I'll be. So I try to just stay asleep. Mike's a little poppy. Yes. I don't know why. I'm trying to figure it out. Um. Wee! I'm just testing it on my... It's being much worse through my laptop. Find the actual receiver. Oh, we have plenty of milk. Should I use this one first? Um, I need the oven at a temperature that I will tell you <laughs> in a moment. Uh, if you just wait a second, because this video doesn't want to tell me. It's just showing me how to do stuff. <laughs> I have something I've never done before. We're making bacon wrapped green beans that have been seasoned and some, um, it says dad's creamy okra potatoes. Okay. A lot of people say, uh, au, au gratin. But um, yeah, Pix said it. So our cousin said it last night at dinner, and Pix said it, and they both said it like very wrong for French. And I was like, you know it's French, right? <laughs> you know it's French, guess what? I speak French. Everybody already knows because I'm always like, I speak French. Oh, um, but only, you know. Uh, it does not say. I found it. <laughs> I found the actual site and not just the video. Okay. Let's go. Wait, give me a sec. It's eight bajillion ads and shit are popping up. Stop. Shut up. <laughs> Stop. Please. I want to cook for my stream. They're waiting. <laughs> okay, we got potatoes. Okay. Takes forever to scroll down to the bottom of the thing. Mm-hmm. 375. Okay. Well, it's the roast is going at 3 or 425. Okay. Sure. Sounds good. Disney was pretty cool. Good. Glad to see that. 
Is there a banana hook in the kitchen? No, but we don't have bananas in here. If we did, I would either put them in the fridge maybe because we'd be less likely to eat them right away, or I would buy a goddamn banana stand. <laughs> if we ever have bananas here, they have to go on a hook. Bananas grow on trees. They bruise when they sit on the counter. Okay. A big thing in my stream, okay? No, it is, uh, <laughs> You're technically allergic to bananas? Oh. But it's just kind of like, did you know, weird fun fact, you know that bananas are semi-related to the um, ragweed species? Bananas make her throat itch. Very interesting. Bananas make her throat itch. Mike says, see through how are you? Hi. I don't matter in this. <laughs> Hi, Mike. How are you? Is going? that a Brazil, Brazil toaster oven? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have one as well. Back in my place. This is great. What am I making today? Besides some tea, <laughs> um, we're making potatoes au gratin and and um, uh, Caesar's making a roast. Holy poop! You can show it right here too. Right, right here. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. I got it. Um, <laughs> this was falling over. Uh, and um, she's making a big old roast with some Bernays, I believe. Yep, and we're going to do and hollandaise saving, first. And then yeah, hollandaise so that we can have some hollandaise tomorrow because we always do Eggs Benedict on Christmas. And then Bernays for tonight for the roast, which sounds amazing. And then we'll also have green beans wrapped in bacon and potatoes au gratin. So we need to get started or the food won't be ready in time because that is like five now. So you gotta get that ready. Don't believe her love. Wait, oh, oh it's, don't worry about it. <laughs> There's always the banana stand. Yes, yes, thank you. So if you're a friend addict, you've seen it over and over again, maybe you remember this line from the episode where Joey goes to cooking class. So what is the difference in ingredients between a Bernays sauce and a Hollandaise, Hollandaise sauce? And I don't remember because it's Monica's line. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Merry Christmas. So, um, Bernays is essentially Hollandaise with um, shallots and tarragon. And um, before we add it to our Hollandaise sauce to make it Bernays sauce, we're going to be um, adding in some white wine and white wine vinegar and cooking it all down a little bit together. But. We've also stolen Mama Foo's uh, Vitamix, which I'm really excited to play with. I always love playing with the Vitamix. Um, so that's how we're going to be making the Hollandaise and Bernays sauce today. Yes, I love my Vitamix. I use it at home for my smoothies all the time. Vitamix is awesome. And it works really well for Hollandaise. So if any of you ever want to try to dip your toes into making Hollandaise, it's a delicate recipe, but... Um, it's actually... Uh, it's not that hard with the Vitamix, I would say. Dad, good this morning, one Eel. This method and it works great. Yes, Dad, this method and that's uh, my sister because I, she just cooks more than I do and she's really good. Which is why I figured, like, I asked her, I was like, hey, do you want to do a cooking stream while I'm there and I can help with food? And she was like, yeah. I'm like, because, like, she's the one who knows how to cook well. <laughs> I can cook some things. I can, I know, I know what food is like when cooked. Yo, thank you for the sub gift. Hey, let me get Murph, thanks for gifting us some. That's so nice. Oh, it's an apple. Hollandaise? Huh? No, she's good at it. Don't worry. Yes, the mic. I don't know what's up with the mic. I'm wondering if it's the connector that I'm using. Um, because I've never had it be like this overly sensitive. Um, even if I talk like this, like it's either nothing or like as loud as possible. Okay, sorry, I'm just testing. Is this better? Is this better? I had to turn it like almost all the way down. Or this. I need to, it still needs to like show up on the, there you go. Okay. I'm testing stuff out. I'm just testing things out. 
Can you use it as a room mic? No, this is my mic. Turn down the gain. It's different on the Mac side. It's not the distance from the receiver, trust me. Trust me, I get farther away from that. I'm gonna get a spoon for my tea and then I'll have some calories in my body and I can actually do all this stuff. Okay, so you have potatoes. Did I need Yukon Gold? Theoretically. Do I have it? No. And that's fine. Potatoes! <laughs> So uh, I'm gonna, now that I actually have directions for it, God, this is still hot as shit. Burnt my mouth last night. And I had some. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of sugar mix. This is like a little like trivia, just as a little extra sweetener, because I put a lot of the chai in it. All right, I gotta figure this out. How do I do this? So prepare, okay, a two quart baking dish. Oh, square baking dish or an eight by 12. Oh, I do need the square one, huh? It wants me to use the square one. Okay. Well, I. Okay guys, so here's the roast. What I've done is, um, so I have cut it in half because it's gonna go, it's gonna bake in a cast iron skillet. We've gotta brown it in the skillet first, so it's gotta fit in the cast iron skillet. So what I did was I salted it. Um, ideally you salt it like 12 to 24 hours in advance and you leave it uncovered in the fridge and what this does is it kind of dries out the surface and tenderizes it a bit more. And so then you get that like crispier skin, which is like awesome. Want to see a close up, everybody? Hmm? You want to see a close up? You can oh, yeah. hang this in your head. No, not you. No, no, no. I got okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Try to so, keep your teacup away from it. Yes. So, um, next thing I'm going to be doing is just doing some pepper. There you go. Yeah. So we'll do some pepper on all sides. And then I've got. Um, Hi, the, Effie. Hi. <laughs> I've got the um, cast iron skillet going with some ghee, which is clarified butter, and the reason for that is that um, it has a higher smoke point, so you want to use, if you're going to sear something, you want a high smoke point kind of fat, which means like ghee, or avocado oil, or grapeseed oil, all good options, um, even canola oil, but butter and olive oil have very low smoke points, so they'll burn faster. So that's something to... So I'm gonna sear it, and then once it's seared, I'm gonna top it with compound butter that I've already made. And the compound butter is made of, um, shockingly, butter, uh, garlic, <laughs> tarragon, and shallots, so it will, and rosemary. So it will complement our, um, uh, it will complement the Bernays sauce later. So that's the next steps I'm gonna do. I will show this to you again one more time before it goes in the oven, too. Three pounds of potatoes. I'm just gonna fill this as much as possible. Basically, I need to. I I assume yeah, I need to fill. I gotta peel the potatoes. That is my sister. This is my sea star. I'm gonna peel these potatoes right in front of you because I know you, you totally care. Hi, Storm Drago, how are you doing? Um, my day is going okay, because I just woke up. Well, I guess I woke up like two hours ago, but this is getting ready. Sister Fu knows her shit, yes. Have you ever owned or used a flavor injector, Sea Star? I have not. <laughs> like saying like Sea Star. Like a Sea Star. Um, hey, you too, I'm taking you. Nice headband. You like my Disney spirit today? I figured um, cooking in this onesie would be fun because I can't wear this on stream normally because it's mostly green. What did you say about the flavor injector? She's never used one. Oh, now it's not warm enough. 
Great for putting compound butter into roasts. Look into it one day. They're not very expensive. She says thank you. I don't know how well you can hear her. Because I have the mic on right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me get, uh, I'm gonna get under you and grab the peelers. And I wanna try them both out. I know I'll have to clean them both, but I just wanna see which one works better. Let's see, which, which peeler is gonna be better? <laughs> Oh, that's not bad. They both work. I'm gonna give you the um, the one with the serrated serrated edges on it because these will look a little better without the serrated lines on them. I think when I cut them into slices, I want them to be nice and smooth. This peeler works great. I don't know. By the way, this is the compound butter that I made. Why did I get both of these? Didn't I get this one as well? I think you did. <laughs> I'm over prepared. But that's the compound butter. Nice. There you go. She's good. I'm telling you, she's good. Baked potatoes? No, we're making like potatoes with gratin. So it's like got a lot of butter and milk and cheese in it. <laughs> because it's just like not matched thinly potatoes with most of the same things you'd use for cheesy mashed potatoes. Now, never forget the Julia Child quote, if you're afraid of, to use butter, use cream. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using milk. Okay. Yeah. This recipe calls for milk. I think because it blends together with the cheese, like you're supposed to melt it with the cheese. So um, that helps it thicken up. Oh God, oh, it's okay. Thank you for bringing that over. Caesar brought me my tea. How's the music? Is it too loud or is it okay? I'd be happy to turn it down. I'm a skin on kind of guy, master friend. The skin has the potassium? Hi Freakish, by the way, what's up? What's up, Justin? More <laughs> Extra, whenever you're around at all and a Mario Kart song comes on, you're always like, oh God, it's Mario Kart. I love it, it's so funny. I love pointing out game music that I know, so I relate. Happy Christmas, Thunder! Have, uh, I'd work, Master. I would say have fun, but I know it's almost Christmas, so, you know. I think with all the other sides we're having as well, because we're not the only ones cooking. My mom is also making stuff, which is ridiculous. I think we'll have enough, even if this is only like a couple big, it's yeah. like four potatoes, but. Do you want to explain Mama Fu's famous cooker? I will in a bit, yeah. Okay. How are you all doing? Is anybody cooking for their family today? Or themselves? Wrap up the stuff in those veggies for tomorrow. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Which came from the actual part of the turkey. Okay, but the skin has a metric and potassium. I don't mind eating the skin of potatoes, but I feel like for this recipe, they taste better without. For this style of potatoes, you know. But that's good to know for the future. You think it's funny when I point out Mario Kart songs? Yes, because I used to play that too with Mario Kart. I said I love it. Like I just, I just like how excited you are about that game. Like how well you know the game, because I do that with some other stuff. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Rinse that off for now. I rinse this one off too really fast because I use it for like a second.
My car is amazing. <laughs> Stuffed potato skins. Ooh. People mostly don't use skins. You ever know someone who's potassium deficient? <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's have a little bit more tea because I am my eyes are like they would like to close. Oh my god. Anything that can get me like more awake right now would be good. Okay, I'm gonna toss the skin. Excuse you me. You just resubscribe. You're sharing it now. Everyone, Everyone knows how long you sub for. Thank you for the resub. See you. See this like oh shit, fucking exactly. Every time. <laughs> Hi Steve. How are you, friend? Thank you for 35 bucks. I was at three, dude. Cooking stream. Plus we have the cooking household, which is Sister Fu. She learned a lot of her stuff from um, Dad. So I went to stay at Steve's place back in September before we went to Disney. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Hi, Steve. Do I have an air fryer? I don't. Do you have an air fryer? She does. We have one next door, luckily, so I'll we, be borrowing that for the uh, we, green beans. We do have a family one here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, germs. Merry Christmas Eve. Okay, I need to cut all these up now. Kirby 64. Yes, yeah, y'all point this game out. What's up, Casey? How you doing? Is um this still like popping or is it a little better? One potato has 600 milligrams of potassium, not 50 with the skin. Holy crap. Damn. Christmas shopping and wrapping gifts. You and I Christmas shopping today? I still need to um, gift the nephew his stuff from yesterday and stuff for tomorrow. Yeah. And give him a call. I got too stressed when I got here last night to remember to do that. Pops at weird times, but mostly it's like, okay, so, so it's a little better. I apologize for the, for the dumbness. Okay, so once he's like thinly sliced, so I'm gonna put, toss my hair back here for a little bit. This might take a little while. I assume they want like, you think that's good? I think like this, this, this looks pretty good, right? What do you think is better? Uh, you think this is okay? That one's fine, anywhere between those two. Okay. okay. It's uh, going to be arranged. It's Christmas Eve, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get a mandolin. When I make, yeah, yeah, of course. When I make potatoes so few and far between like this, then can you hold it above this? Or do you need to set it on the counter? Look at that, oh my gosh. I'll just cut this over here. <laughs> it's not only for taters, it's for nuts. I have a thing, um. A better one for each of these, can believe it. Oh wait, can you hear what she's saying? So, this is the 10 pound butter that we'll be putting on each of these. And literally, we're just going to lay the butter on it. I'm gonna split it, actually. We're gonna cover the roast with butter, flavored butter. And have Bernays with it? Well, this is to give it a nice flavor and crispy skin. Of course it is. These are kind of very intense. And then I actually have more of the compound butter in case people don't want to use Bernays and prefer to use a butter. Awesome. Now it's ready to go into the. Yeah, it's not gonna cook off, I guess. I know, um, but, yeah. So then this is gonna go in a 425 degree oven, and I've got a meat thermometer that I'll put in the bigger one. So if you have people in your family who like different, um, different, well done, you know, medium rare, etc., then getting a fillet like this where you've got 
a bigger side and a smaller side is really good because then it, it takes this that piece will take longer and this like to cook and so if this piece gets up to 120 degrees this piece will still be more well done or closer to medium so uh, that's what we're going for today because someone in our family does not like medium rare which is perfectly fine so <laughs> Um, and I know that people, some people are really fanatic about these, like, if you don't eat your steak, uh, you know, or yeah, or then you're doing it wrong, it's like, you know, well, when you get nauseous, you like? when you eat undercooked meat, <laughs> fuck you. Fuck somebody. Yes. <laughs> Alright, let me go wash my hands so I can get this in the oven. I prefer my, my red meats medium well, and I couldn't give a fuck what anybody thinks about that. I don't get it well done, I don't need it black. Like, only a little teeny tiny bit. Like really soft cuts of the Well, I don't eat steak that often. This is gonna cook very short. Yeah. Okay. Hey, here we are. Potatoes. Potatoes again. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Stuff at the bottom of the pan will make an amazing gravy. Yeah. How about garlic fries in the air fryer? That sounds amazing. If you sous vide a steak to medium well, it'll still be juicy. Yeah, I don't want I don't want a steak to be like dry. I, I just... do have a sous vide too, so I get that. <laughs> right. A friend of ours who's coming up for New Year's likes to sous vide everything, but he's the one who cooks them um, Thanksgiving. Friendsgiving dinner. I was um, pushing all my friends today. I'm like, all right, everybody. Anybody who hasn't fully committed, you either have to commit or not today. Sorry, but that's just how it is because I got to figure it all out for this upcoming week. Because we have access to a, a nice sized house, but I still got to be able to try to put everybody on a bed somewhere. So, your girl put the pressure on today. <laughs> she is a kitchen queen, I know, right? She's so good. These are potatoes, yeah. This is gonna take me a little while. Yes. The kitchen queen, yes. Absolutely, not me. Uh, so my mom, so we grew up learning how to cook from dad, not mom. I think God's sister who like retained a lot of that information. I, I mean, I, I of course know how to do basics. I can make you, you know, decent chicken breast. And, like I know how to make basics for dinner, right? Um, I'm doing a fucking mandolin right now. Um, but uh, Mama Boo, she well. She, she didn't, she didn't cook much for a long time. Now she cooks more, but um, she likes to cook very specific things, which is more on my plane. I'm kind of like a mix between the two. Like Sister Fu can cook anything and she can like make shit. I'm, yeah, yeah, she cooks, she doesn't bake. I'm not following recipe or just making basic stuff because I don't, I don't experiment enough to like know. I don't know how to cut these last few. It's a potato really thin. Pork is a good idea. I'll just save that. <laughs> Who's the best cook in the family? Um, Papa Fu was, but now that he can't cook, it's Sister Fu. But my mom still, she still makes like a number of items, very specific items. And so the ones that she does make are very good. So she has this really awesome, unique, cookie recipe that I am in love with. Um, and uh, and so, <laughs> one of her other desserts. She likes doing like a lot of like, oh, we're doing like almond flour, make your own pizzas, or you know, like cute little ideas like that. But she has this like homemade bread recipe that's unique that I just love as well. And then she has, um, she, not, she doesn't, that much, but she does like the few things that she does bake. I love because I grew up with them. But um, so <laughs> one thing that she makes 
is this ice cream pie. And it's my favorite goddamn thing. <laughs> um, she hand crushes up an Ore like Oreos for the crust, and then does like layers of ice cream. It's usually only like two different types, but she'll like do a layer and then put like something in the middle, like a layer of caramel or something, and then like another layer of ice cream, and then all these like delicious toppings, and freezes that together into an ice cream pie. And it's so freaking good. It's so good. Can she be my mom? She sounds awesome. I love my mom and she's really awesome and very kick-ass. We have first dibs, but we are willing to share sometimes. Yeah, but also, most people can't keep up with her. So I don't, I don't know if I recommend it, unless you can really keep up with her. Otherwise, you're gonna be like, ah, ah. It's a lot. Oh my God. Now you want a cookie? Hi, Trader. Hi. Making the main dish for Christmas breakfast. Yeah! Oh, that's what you made. That's awesome. You can try. I think you would appreciate all the things that she does for people, Mike, and then you'd be like totally terrified of her and be like, oh God, she never stops. Why doesn't she ever sit down? She literally, wait, I still won't sit down. I don't understand. And I'll be like, yeah. That's, yes, that's, mom. <laughs> that's her mom. She's literally like broken her foot and still won't sit down. I'm like, sit! And then she'll sit for about five seconds and be like, oh, I just gotta get this thing, or like, I was working on this, whatever. And I'm like, oh my God, sit down. Sit back down. She really can't. She has no idea how to do that. The thing she really wanted for Christmas was to find a, a cute little spa for us to go to. Um, so, so that she can pay money to have people force her to relax. <laughs> It's true. Yes, so Sister Fu is gonna be working on another side because this just takes longer. So I figured I'd be working on this one dish and she's gonna make like two or three on the side, which I would have for the green beans, obviously, but this just takes a while because you have to cut these really freaking thin and then I gotta mix all the shit that goes in it. And she's like, I already seasoned my roast and prepped it like a day or two ago and did all the stuff. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm making. I was about to say, hey, can you get me out of fork? <laughs> Don't worry about it, chat. Mm. Will this, how well will this work? Pretty well, actually. Who's the bartender in the family? Sister Fu and Mama Fu. My mom loves coming up with unique drinks. It's her favorite thing to like host the party and come up with like really cute themed drinks for the party. It's like we're in, like we're gonna be by the river. So we're gonna have like river wrap. You know, like she'll make up cute titles for it and then like come up with stuff and like make it like, oh my gosh, look, it's like the river. So I'm gonna make it blue and put this cute thing in it. Yeah, it's gotta match everything. Like everything has to match and be themed and all that shit. So she has a lot of fun with it. So yeah, I would say she's she's one of the, the drink makers in the family for sure. And then Sister Fu kind of follows behind um, similarly in that, in that vein, in that regard. Half done. <laughs> Potato cutting. Is this a Good loud. For, uh, Christmas presents this year? That was her Christmas. That's one of her Christmas presents. Yeah. So this is actually has bourbon in it, and they're like those camp cocktails. So it uses liquor with. Um, so that one has vanilla, cloves, cinnamon, um, air, like dehydrated figs, and brown sugar. Um, that's cool. So she's doing yeah. like mixed drinky things yeah. for Christmas gifts so that people can just kind of combine them. Yeah. People can like combine them with stuff and um, like have their own like drinks made and ready. So yes, they are the drinkers. Obviously, since I don't drink alcohol, I would not be the bartender because I don't know how to make shit. I'm like, you want some tea? Let's serve you tea. Let's do tea. I will say this. Even if you don't drink, always have wine on handy because wine is crucial in a lot of recipes and it's crucial in the Bernays sauce that we're doing today. I still don't keep wine either, but yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, I know, right? 
Can you even imagine, imagine mom's do doing that? Drink, then just keep it on hand for the chef. Thanks, Jess. You like my one? Yes, you on hand. <laughs> Is there a pressure valve on that mason jar? <laughs> yes. I just thought it was a color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm making potatoes au gratin. Steve. Which, which look impressive, but really like Sister Foo's doing all the work with the frickin' roast. And again, so then she's gonna be making um, like seasoned green beans wrapped in bacon. So of course, uh, my request is to cook the bacon as well as possible around the green beans, but I know that they tend to be less cooked. Oh, it's sick. oh my God, such a good idea. She's gonna air fry them so that it all gets crispy. Some of these potato pieces, these are all different thicknesses. I'm trying my best to keep them on the thin side, but oh my, oh my low. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'll look after it. Yes, this is my first time making this dish, Steve, so we'll see how it goes. I do have, um, so I have a KitchenAid mixer at home, and I have like, I think I have a veggie slicer thing for it, an attachment. I, w I wouldn't want to bring the whole KitchenAid here, but in the future, I wonder if this would work well, maybe. To like try to do like the, like mandolin style, you know, since I don't have a lot of experience with this. She says she's been up prepping and cooking since 10. If I'd done that, I would've gotten like three hours of sleep. So. Did you just say mise en place in place? She technically just said, I, I wanted to get my put in place in place. It's like people say like, I like some non bread. Or ATM machine. Yeah, ATM machine, yeah. Can I have some non bread? You want some bread bread? It's fine, I mean, it's, it is a specific form of bread in that in that regard, but you know, whatever. I also think it's funny. I, I'm guilty of that, being like, I want some non-bread. I want that bread bread. Bread bread. Ding, 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 ding. I'm going to be air frying this. I have the green beans tossed with pepper. Can you put all the stuff that was over there? Yeah, so okay. with pepper and uh, garlic, just to simplify it a little bit. Oh, you're not doing the basil or oregano? No, I think okay. it's gonna fight the other flavors too much. Okay, sure. Um, I just no brought all the stuff that I saw on the ingredients. No salt. When do you do salt? The bacon is salty. Oh. So that'll add flavor to it. Oh. So I'd say Sister Foo's fatal flaw in the kitchen, over lemons. Yeah. Sometimes she does too much lemon. But I'm also about it, but you know, in case it's helpful for her in the future. But anything under that lemon flavor is always so fucking good. You're such a good cook. Nice, Germs, that's awesome. Yeah, she'll put a little, a little more lemon than needed in recipes occasionally, but she's just kind of trying to taste on the go and it's hard to know like where the flavor has landed, you know what I mean? Um, but that's really the only fault that I've ever found in her cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas Eve. When life gives sister food lemons, she is not afraid. <laughs> God, I really hope this is ready in time. I don't think it'll need to cook for a, a full hour. Yeah. I'm on my last potato, and then we can go from there. This music sounds like Donkey Kong, but reminds me of Monkey Island. Anybody else? These are some big slices of potato. So bad at this. Monkey Island? Mm hmm. Who's telling me? I think Bacon was saying that it's like 
a Prime thing you can get right now. You can get it like free with Prime right now, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but um, if so, good fun series, fun series. Um, Seaster, it's like one of those point and click, old point and click computer games. Uh, but it's, the, the puzzles though sometimes seem a little far-fetched because it's an old, old point and click PC game, um, are fun and goofy and the writing's really funny. Oh, James, oops. She sure does, she plays more Pokemon than I do by like, a lot more Pokemon than I do. Um, loves like stuff like Witcher, Skyrim, things like that. We grew up, she loves Zelda games. Yeah, she doesn't like shooters. Um, she's played RPGs, but not a ton of them. Like more like action RPGs than turn style, than like traditional turn-based RPGs. Yeah, she played Paper Mario. It was one of our first games, which is why, you know sit well with me. <laughs> My is part of this family. Oh, our games are similar. <laughs> He's so young though, what the fuck? I know, Pokemon technically, yes, that would be your turn-based RPG that you like the best, I would say. Yes, like by far. But I'm saying like in general, like, we, we played Final Fantasy X, but I don't hear about her playing a lot of other games like that, besides. If you want like an anime style turn-based, well, no, it's not turn-based. If you want an anime style open world action RPG with an interesting battle system, Xenoblade is really good. It's a long game though, so it's like, Girl, it's like it's like um, Persona 5, Nino Kuni long. Well, Persona 5 is longer, but... Oh, she didn't play Persona 5. She didn't beat it, though. That's okay. You play what you want to play at your own pace. I'm not here to, like, force you to do stuff. I'm almost done. Ah! I want to move on to the next step. Isn't exactly, baby. Um, you're you're turning it into an adult. Very proud of you. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to call a 21 year old. If not a, if, if if we're not using the term baby. <laughs> I'm not a baby. You gonna cry about it? <laughs> Get you a binky. <laughs> I'm tired, you guys. <laughs> I I think it's fork time for this last little bit of potato. And then I can finally shove it all in the pan. Do you like my incredibly unevenly cut potatoes? It won't matter if you're having cheese and garlic. Exactly. They're not the worst. I've wrapped the green beans and bacon. She goes, yeah. Oh, so you gotta take them yes. to the other room. Yes. Yeah, bacon! Exactly, that's how we feel about bacon here as well. Okay! The next, to, God, my hand is like, I just gotta rinse it. You look at that, like the potato starch is like all over my hand and so it's like drying out. It's so weird. So strange. I don't know where, my mom got these paper towels, but they freaking it. They're like select a size, but like then a select another size. 
I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I need these paper towels. I don't know where I can find them. No, I love them. I want to find them. What brand were they? I have no idea. Oh, they're brawny. What the fuck? Terra Square. I love that. Do you know how often they tear off the select size and then fold it in half and yeah, do a square? I do too. Because of dad. <laughs> yeah, it's like napkins. Who needs napkins when you have fucking Terra Square? I'm so, I'm so old. I mean, like, excited about paper towel styles. We are, we are our brother's children. That's true. Ains, what, what's this from? Guitar. No. It is Pokemon. It, have you been playing Pokemon recently? Okay. Yes. I believe this is the snow, the snowy town from there, right? Okay. All right. Let's go here. Place sliced potatoes in three tight slanted rows, right, as indicated in the photos. Here we go. I should, um. Nope, so can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> How do I show you what I'm doing? Oh my god. Ha ha! Ha ha! <laughs> I take extra, I'm going to. I buy napkins because the ones I take from restaurants and like fast food especially, put those um, in my car instead of like having paper towels in my car or something. Or what, I, I think I have wipes as well in my car. Cause I've had, you know, once you have enough spills from different people dropping stuff or you being stupid in your own car, you're like, yeah, I need to clean up occasionally. Oh my God, maybe this will be the, this is definitely gonna be the right size pan. Huh. <laughs> this is not a work of art by any means. <laughs> I just hope it tastes good. That's my, that is my main concern. Slanty Rose. AG! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, dude. How you doing? Merry almost Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve. E. Speaking of E, where's my B? Oh, it's about noon there. He's still sleeping. Unless you take like a small sack of napkins, you're good. <laughs> Handfuls? I'll take like upwards of 10 if I'm low in my car and I'm at like a Starbucks. You know what I mean? They, I feel like they don't mind as much, right? Hopefully. Steve, I got my wine. <laughs> is this gonna be big? Wait, is this gonna be big enough? Oh shit. I'm gonna have to squeeze more potatoes in each row. I was trying to be um careful about how many I put in each row. I'm saving some of the smaller ones for the ends. I'm gonna squeeze them in. One way or another. One way or another. Or an udder. <laughs> okay, I think we can make this work. I think so. What is this from again? <laughs> I 
Okay, this end isn't gonna look as nice and pretty, but you know, that's just how it goes. That's how it be sometimes. That's way too big for the end piece here. It seems to come back like here. Okay. You're sticking up a little too high because there's all this stuff's gonna be poured all over it. <laughs> all this cheese and shiz. I think that doesn't look bad. There we go. I think that looks. People will take 40 to 50? What the heck? Yeah, maybe sometimes they grab some out and then don't feel like putting some back, so they just take whatever they grab. Neighbors outside playing Christmas music? Yay! You <laughs> know Okay, no, I think we're good. All right, next step, finally. Let me rinse off the knife really quick. See, that starch is pretty easy to rinse. So at least you can... Take care of that fairly quickly. Okay. We only had like a little tiny bit of potato that was hard to cut right there at the end. The rest of it, not so bad. Again, rinsing stuff makes it so much easier to clean later. So much easier. So much easier. Okay. thing. I swear we have one. Um, so you're supposed to cut the onions in slices. However, I'm not a huge fan of onion texture, but I like onion taste. So I'm wondering if we have a, like a slap chop. If not, I'm gonna have to like mince it and then kind of spread it around. I think I have to mince it. I can also do onion powder, but um, this asks for actual slices. But this is the last thing to cut up. After that, you, you want them to be overlaid. You Bam, love, and cheer. Yo, I got those things so much for the six months. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, since this has been rinsed, I'll just use it again for the onion. And I'll leave it wet because it'll help keep that shiz from... Okay, I'm good. It's the best way to mince an onion. Tea tar. Oh, shoot, they did Okay, so... Actually I know it should have been the bottom, not yeah. the top half. Yeah, mom... Did what she could, I guess. <laughs> I would just say, chop like this first, and then there's another technique I'll show you next. Okay. I gotta turn it the other way because I am left handed. Hopefully, this won't make me cry too much. It's bad for my eyelashes. You like my little, um, they're actually Mickey ears. They're from Disney. Aren't they adorable? And same with my onesie. All Disney. <laughs> yes. Yes. I love these. I love them. Either we got them there or I saw them and wanted them and then ordered them online later. I don't remember. It looks okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. Gotta be careful. Yep. It's 
It's like, ooh, you have moisture in your eyeballs. Let me come see. I'm like, no, no, please. Yes. Who's become a Disney princess? <laughs> What's up? Guys? High five. <laughs> so, okay, so you want to hold the knife like this? Oh. Yeah. And then you take one hand and put it here on the flat, on the, like, obviously non-sharp side of the blade. Please don't sharp side. I don't want to get lighter. <laughs> like this. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. So you kind of, like, move things back center and try and identify okay. the pieces. Of the piece. I got it, because I want you to be able to work on the, the green beans. Left-handed, yeah! We are. Oh, uh, Monsieur Jeremy. <laughs> Isn't this also Pokemon? No. I don't know. I've heard these songs over and over. Even if you pick different playlists, as long as you do holiday Nintendo music, you're always going to end up hearing most of the same songs again and again and again. So I just, I'm like, oh, I'm so familiar with this now, but it's just because I've heard it a billion times. I don't actually remember where it's from. Stabilize the cutting surface. I cut the... I'm almost done. Can I finish? I mean, it's fine. Kitchen safety, yeah. Or use a heavier cutting board. I know, I'm almost, I'm almost done though. Fortunately, this knife has been sharp. Where we haven't had any problems. Oh, I hate it. Okay. Ugh. I hate it. Get, get, get on, get on here. Get over here. It seems like way too much onion. It was like half an, it said half an onion. You know, I was born with my two front teeth. And they pulled them, which is why my teeth overlapped each other for a while. Very Futurama of you. So much onion, though. I, don't, I feel like it's. You saw it today? Oh, nice. I feel like that's plenty. You know? Next, make your sauce. Add two tablespoons of butter and place over medium heat. Once the butter is melted, so this we're gonna do separately on the stove. Um, so I will swap back. Just doing the green beans two separate ways? Or is that another batch? I don't know what's happening there. Okay, let's do. Mm, this one, this one. Yeah, cause I'm gonna be working right here for a bit. I can turn the camera a little if you all want. I think I should anyway. I don't know, I'm kind of trying to figure it out. 
I didn't, I didn't turn it much more than it already was, but whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Sorry for the Sorry. Sorry. And pot lids. Pot lids might make noise. Oh, no, we're okay. Okay, here we go. Big old pan here. So we're gonna. Remind me later. Okay. Earthquake! Big goat made of hay and it gets burnt down. It's illegal to burn it down, but they do it anyway. What the heck? Okay, so we're gonna do the butter. It says two tablespoons, so right here. Make a little mark in it, so that when I open it up, I know how much to cut. <laughs> Hello. This was butter I got out from the fridge separately. Did they even try to defend the goat? <laughs> huh. Okay, so we're gonna melt the butter and then we're gonna whisk in a little bit of flour and then slowly add in milk, alternating flour, whisking away any lumps, bring to a simmer. So buttermilk and flour should turn into a roux. Yeah. Oh, this would be better for it. Mm -hmm. Fun little tool for like whisking gravies and stuff. Great for sauces. Sauces. Okay. Sauce. So I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need the milk and the flour. I'm sorry I don't have like a stove cam like I usually do at home. I apologize for that. But I can take this over to the stove so I can see you what we're all chatting about. This is gross. These are done. No. No. Yes, I will I will sneeze in them and then dump them all over you again. Then, um, so we're gonna do the milk flour thing, and then we're gonna need to put in the garlic and cheddar cheese, which we don't have that much of, so we're gonna substitute with, I don't know what the fuck else, but we're gonna substitute it with something. Uh, I love how much is in here. Cause then we're gonna stir in yes. cheese, garlic. I didn't see it. <laughs> you can take it if you want. So the Gruyere and Parmesan we place on, oh, it has to cook for 45 minutes and then another 45 minutes. Well, 30 minutes for the next time. Oh crap, okay, oh my God. We're not gonna be ready in time. Well, it'll be ready at 5.30. Uh, uh, I will. <laughs> hmm? I will. You will? Mm. Mine won't be ready. Okay, great. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you did start a while ago, yeah? Okay, medium heat. Let me get the amount. All right, you guys, okay. you gotta stop that. Okay, quarter cup of flour, 
one and a half cups of unsweetened milk. Where are the measuring thingies? Where's the actual measuring cup? Let's find out. Yes. I need more than one technically, but whatever. I'll make it work. You're fine. I only need a quarter cup of flour, so. That should be pretty easy. Do like a couple of tablespoons, basically. Okay. We are literally cooking now. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Now that I know that it's not gonna be ready. Oh, it. Is it? Where did the whiskey thing go? Yeah, true. I could I could come after a little bit. If they want to do that first. I'm gonna try to whisk this all together as fast as possible. And this is one and a half cup of milk. Okay. All right, I'm whisking. Keep in mind, I have the mic if you would like it. Okay, I'm gonna do some more flour now. Oh, oh, this is gravy-like. Yes, but it's totally working. Yay! Ooh, careful. Okay. Herder. <laughs> What's up, herder? Looking wither skeleton spawn mechanics went down a rabbit hole and the warden mob they're designing is actually terrifying. And you can catch me never entering sub zero once they release it. It burrows into the ground. Uh huh. Check you on sound. Yes. Oh, you didn't know it detected you because of sound. Uh huh. Um, a a mob type they're releasing in Minecraft called the warden. So you used to be able to go from zero depth, no wait, right? How, how low could you go in Minecraft? Zero to 200 and something. But with the new expansion, they added a caves and cliffs update, which um, added a, like a completely new cave generation and um, mountain generation and stuff. Uh, and that's probably our quarter cup there. Um, and, uh, so caves are now like way more open and like really cool and interesting and more natural, ne more naturally generating. And they have like lush caves now and deep caves. And now you can go like down to negative something, like negative 100 or something weird. Um, and you can go higher as well into the sky. Uh, so anything below the zero will now be spawning this. 
Enemy, oh god, this is like all bubbly and stuff. Okay, I need to put in the cheddar quickly. Let me see how much cheddar this is. I just wanna see if this is gonna be enough. Oh, the whole bag was eight ounces. It's not gonna be quite enough, but whatever. We'll just put, we'll just top it with extra cheese. That's what to top after. Okay. You could do a little bit of the Mexican blend if you wanted to. It's cheddar greer? Oh, cut a little bit, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so thick. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Negative 60? Okay. Bedrock generates at 60 to 60. Okay, so you put a negative 60 in. Zero. Okay. So you can go down an extra 60 blocks. Okay, this needs to turn down. Oh my god. So I need the garlic powder. No, it calls for garlic powder. This is fine. Yes, you do. It's fine. Thank you. Okay. Oh my God, this is so thick. I think this is too thick now. I turned it all the way down. I could. Well, is it gonna be too thick when it cooks, maybe, on the potatoes? Okay, and then the next thing is to uh, add more. Okay, we need salt and pepper to taste. Okay, I'll go get there. talking about oh the warden the garlic powder is like not blending well it's just chunky <laughs> okay I'm gonna do a little salt pepper to taste actually I'll just do pepper and I will sprinkle salt because this mixture is gonna pour on top of the potatoes and then that's gonna go in the oven Um, Asian Sensation says hi. Joined us at the last Ren Fair. She says yes, hello. This is real thick. Bedrock can be broken with glitches, yeah. Pour the sauce evenly over the potatoes and onions to cover them. Don't worry, the sauce will be nice and creamy while bacon. Oh, this is some thick ass sauce. I don't know what this thing is talking about. This is already really thick. Okay, then I need to cover with foil and bake. Okay. Oh my God, wish me luck. I try to get up earlier. It's just so hard for me when I can't get to sleep at a reasonable hour, even for my time at a reasonable hour. I just can't function on not a lot of sleep, sadly. Okay, uh, I need to see spatula. This is heavy as fuck. We go. Set it down, and then I can spread it out. Okay, <clears throat> that's heavy. 
Okay. All right. Spreading, spreading, spreading. This is way too, they wanted this pan, really? This is so small for all this cheese. And you need to put more cheese on top of it, how? It's freaking full as frick. <laughs> how am I gonna get more cheese on it? Is this gonna turn out well? I'm worried. I'm worried, you all. I am worried. But it might be great. We won't know until it cooks and then I get to see it after. <sighs> see steam coming off of it? Nice, good, yes. Oh my God, that like totally rinsed off. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oil. Okay. Here we go. Let's wrap and bake. Wrap and bake. That cheese is so close to the top. It is sticking right to the top. Show us the meat. Oh, that is not my responsibility to show. That is Sister Fu. When she comes back in, I will get her to show you if it's all. Oh, I see it. It's back there, actually. No, I can grab it. Okay. Just kidding. Okay, let me put this in the oven. It's 4.30. Yeah, this will be ready at maybe 5.30. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna set a timer for 40 minutes. Foil, bake for 45 minutes. After, remove the foil, sprinkle top of potatoes with half a cup of shredded Gruyere or more cheddar and a quarter cup of Parmesan. Okay, so now that I can put this back, I know she's still gonna be cooking. This can go, this can go away. This can go away, this can go away. Are they done? Oh, not Crisp super crispy, bacon. but yeah, but the green beans look awesome. Hey, take your time. I just put the potatoes in the oven. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, whatever you can see on, the, on my laptop, but they can't really hear you well because I have the mic. But. Ooh, yeah. Sister Fu's gonna show off all the food for you. These are both trash this time, right? They are now. Okay. All right. Would you like to see food progress? Because Sister Foo is going to go off. Which square should we take? <laughs> okay. Give me a sec. Have your friend to show us. Most cheddars are low tier cheeses that can and should be replaced by other cheeses. Uh, I, there's this like, I like a New Zealand sharp cheddar, extra sharp, and uh, a Welsh extra sharp aged cheddar. Those are my favorites. Um, if you give me a mild cheddar, I'm gonna be like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Why would you do that? Why? Why would you do that? So these 
<laughs> okay, so these are the green beans after they've been air fried. Um, so to reheat them since uh, <laughs> Caesar likes her bacon a little crispier. Which is not necessary for uh, this, but. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to um, here, like hit them with a like hot, hot pan just to get the bacon a little crispier to reheat before we go. But they turned out pretty good. So, hey, yay! And then you guys want to see the roast? We have all pictures. Show us the meat. Okay. That's what I was told. Hey, I just I never say that on dating apps, but. Yeah. Show you the meat. <laughs> yeah. Then we'll some back and do. <laughs> okay, so here's the roast. Uh, so out, like roasts actually cook really fast, especially if you uh, take it out of the fridge and let it get to room temperature. Um, so this is we cooked it to 100, and, like 100, and somewhere between 115 and 120 for this bigger piece, so that this piece will be a bit more well done. Um, <clears throat> So you can see it turned out really well. It's got like a very crispy skin, which I love. Mm -hmm. Also, hi, Kay and Ella. What's up? Hi. What's up, everyone? So um, I'll show you to I'll show it to you guys again after it's been carved as well. But now we gotta let it rest. So it's important to let it rest for a minimum of 15 minutes. Grating cheese. I'm just grating cheese over here. So you can watch her do hollandaise stuff while I just grate cheese to put on top of the potatoes. And then my job is basically done, which is very nice. Um, okay, because I need the um, plug over there. Need the what? Plug. I can just unplug my laptop for a bit while you do it. The new laptop, so it should have battery. <laughs> Unlike my old one, which is why I got the new one. It's not the only reason I got a new laptop, because you can replace a battery. It was a driving factor, though, <laughs> for immediate replacement. Okay, so it's... See how fast we can cook these potatoes? Yeah, all I have to do is take it out when this timer goes up, put the cheese on it, and then bake it for another half an hour. As long as they're cooked and it's golden brown on the top. So we'll see. Hi, Pasta King. I am, um, uh, I'm feeling the time, pressure of time, but otherwise I'm doing fine. So you get to watch this if you work with some um, hollandaise now. Yes. I'll just be over here. So you can separate eggs any way you like, honestly. Like whatever works for you. There are a lot of methods out there. Quite frankly, really clean hands is the best, best method I've found. And just literally, very gently letting the uh, yolk kind of fall into your hand like this. It goes in here. So I'm reserving the whites. I usually throw them away for smaller batches, but since I'm literally making a dozen eggs at this <laughs> point, um, I'm saving this and maybe I'll make a, like, a meringue for the egg whites because I actually just keep the texture of egg whites when they're cooked. Or egg okay. yeah. So, definitely a texture thing. They always taste rubbery to me. Same. Yeah. Trying to get rid of that little extra part. I don't know what that's called. Does anyone else know? <laughs> the little white part that's attached to the part of it. So it's like, it's not what we call it. kind of a fried chicken as kind of dark because part of the process is literally like using eggs as part of the um, batter to fry it. It's kind of like let us kill you and then bathe you in the unborn <laughs> like bathe you in your unborn before we cook you. Hi Sand! Sand says hi. Hi! <laughs> Your memory for music is way better than mine. This has been our wheelhouse of songs for a game. 
Oh, it's Zelda. I have not played that in forever. Okay. So I'm making a dozen eggs worth of hollandaise right now um, to start out with, and then we will transfer half of that into Grenada. Okay. Have you ever used the water bottle trick for separating yolks? No, I haven't. I mean, honestly, this is the easy way for me to do it but that's not true for everybody. I've also found a flat surface works best for cracking eggs. But again, do what works best for you. about eggs there's definitely a difference between like the organic and free range and all that stuff and you can actually tell by the color of the yolk alone um but milk weird fun fact about milk a friend who um works as like a, for a company that does basically expert research for major court cases and there's one about milk gmo like if, whether or not you can detect gmo in milk turns out you can't so yeah, that you will never know if there's GMO in your milk or not. Unless, like, you raise the cow. Yeah, so it's like, it's not, I don't know if it's good or bad, but you can't test for it. So it doesn't matter what kind of milk you might get, it might have GMO, it might not. So, just a heads up. Yeah. The darker the yolk, the higher protein intake by the mama chicken. They just taste better. <laughs> they do taste better. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, two more eggs, and then we'll get started on this. For reals. What game is this from? Is this from the Mother Series? What game is this from, guys? Separated out almost because there's a stubborn little piece of, you know, of whites here. There we go. Yes. There we go. Okay. So that's a dozen egg whites and a dozen egg yolks. actual making of this for one reason and that's because we need to get our fixings for the Bernays sauce right and so it can cool a little bit set things aside So it's basically you've already pre-chopped and separated and piled or put in little glass bowls like I've done here um, all of your ingredients that you're going to need so you don't 
start cooking and then realize you need to chop too. So we're gonna put those in the pan. I've got a little bit of the compound butter in here, so I need to add a little bit more. True. Free chopping potatoes, they do brown. So you gotta... So we're gonna add a little bit more compound to this and then we're gonna start cooking just until these get a little bit soft. And then we're gonna add in white wine vinegar, white wine, and tarragon. And then we're gonna reduce. So I'm gonna just do a mic. So well, since I'm going over to the stove. Add a little bit of the butter. There's a little bit more compound butter in there now. And again, we're just gonna cook this down until the shallots start to soften a bit. Okay. Hopefully. Cookie on the stove briefly, briefly. Okay, just cooking away. Sorry that neither of us are looking at chat. You'll think it will be! I appreciate it! I, Thank you! She's cooking. I'm gonna switch the camera for you and then um get back to doing dishes. <laughs> so you wanna cook these until they're just barely translucent. So we're almost there. And you wanna wait on adding um, any uh, fresh herbs until you're not cooking at a higher heat. Right, Vega? Mm. Okay, so this is what we're looking for as far as, um, yeah, I'll just like try and hold it up for you guys. So they're now translucent. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the white wine and the white wine vinegar for that acid. So, you know, you always want a little bit of acid or a little bit of fats or a little bit of both, ideally. So for me, I eyeball these kind of things and usually they work out for me, so we'll see. Now we have Cooking with wine is awesome. Why? It's a great way to make a, a little bit of acid, but it also, um, there's a, a little bit of chemistry behind it, but also um, cooking with wine is awesome. So, <laughs> little for the chef. <laughs> All right, so we've got the white wine, the white wine vinegar, and now I'm adding the tarragon. And we turned up the heat just a little bit because what we wanted this to do is to reduce. So, you give it all a little bit of a stir. And you want it to reduce um, until it's about half to a third of the amount of liquid that it was before. We're gonna let that sit and bubble for a minute and get back to holidays. All right. Cord is not long at all. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I unplugged the bottom one. Okay. Alright. I don't know if that'll work. We'll see. Will you switch the view again? Will you switch the view again, please? Have our Vitamix. Yay! So you know what? It might be better without switching the view. Yeah. I'm just gonna move the the above camera out of the way so I can make sure I'm not knocking things over. Sure. Alright. Vitamix, yay! Dozen egg whites in here. Make sure it's on. It is now. We'll give it a little pulse to start out with. All right. Now all the egg whites are mixed up. Next thing I need is the measuring cup. Or the egg yolks are mixed. Well, there's just a little, I mean, some of them were still solid. I know, right? You only do a little bit. Yeah. Where's the measuring cup? How did what we lose it? Oh. Why don't I just why don't I just pour it right here? Because I was gonna that's dirty. I mean not this is where I was grating the cheese. This piece oh. was clean. I was okay. cutting over here. Okay. Can we rinse that out for you? Yes, please. Staring in the back for a second. Let's say hi to chat real quick. Egg yellows, yes. So, yes, it's a dope sink. I agree. Really like the farmhouse and it's nice and gigantic, which is also oh, the big sink. key. Yeah. Two sinks are stupid. Double sink. I agree. It's like, get one bigger sink rather than two small sinks. You need to dry it. Yeah. It's clean. You need to dry it. Uh oh, it's Easter. Someone said no yolks about it. <laughs> I tattled. <laughs> Somebody use the command. Use the command. Truthfully, do you know? Do you know? All right, so next thing I'm doing is adding, like, putting um, butter in a measuring cup, and I'm going to put it in the microwave until it is bubbling hot, like nearly popping. So we'll start out with two sticks. We're probably gonna need a lot more, but that's okay. We've got it all lined up and pre-softened so it'll melt faster too. Jailed, so can I say punished? She's gonna hate me. <laughs> uh -huh. Jail. Jail. A little bit more. Okay, we're gonna start this again. Turning the Vitamix up to about a three, eh, two. We don't want it splattering everywhere. All right. They're super hot and boiling just a little bit. So we're gonna very slowly start to add it. Drizzling just a little bit of time. Yeah. So this will very slowly cook the eggs. The other way of making hollandaise 
is to use a heat safe bowl over a pot of boiling water or to use a double boiler. Um, either will work, but in that case, you've got the exact opposite of butter, so now I gotta heat it up a little bit more. Um, so for this, the butter has to be extremely hot. Like it's gotta be bubbly. It's gotta be hot enough that as you slowly add it, it starts to cook the eggs. So while that's running for another 10 seconds, we're gonna add just a little bit of lemon juice, but I'm gonna try not to over lemon. Yeah, you don't want it to scramble the eggs, that's why you add it slowly. So we're gonna start with just a touch of lemon juice. All right, this is, ooh, bubbly and still, okay. And then we're gonna start to, again, it's like because it's really hot, you need to add it very, very, very slowly to the egg yolks. So yeah, by the way, if you reheat hollandaise sauce, you can either do it like literally five seconds stop, stir it in the microwave, and then five seconds stop, stir it, five seconds stop, stir it. Or you can do it the double, double boiler or bowl over boiling water method. So, yeet. Yeah. I can barely hear the song over the Vitamix. Yeah. Okay, so there's actually steam starting to rise out of the Vitamix itself, and a Vitamix is great because it actually, you could make soup that comes out hot in a Vitamix, so. All right. And luckily the microwave is right above the stove, so as this goes, I can check on the, um, the mix. All right, so we're starting to, we're starting to get there. We're not quite there yet, but basically, You are so much better at this game. I'm awful at this game. Um, yeah, that's true. Okay. Pretty well, but I, that doesn't mean I pay attention to the music. Oh. Oh, is this? This isn't Tinseltown, is it? Terrytown. Sorry, I got tinsel on the brain. It's the holidays. And then when the, you get the corn, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need more butter because butter's awesome. You gotta melt it again. While that runs, I'll give you guys a look at our mix right here. If I can. Ooh. Um, so we're down almost there. I'm gonna let it reduce just a little bit more because I don't wanna make it too runny for the sauce. Okay. I hear a pop, that's a good thing. Except for the fact that we gotta clean the microwave. All right, we'll restart this. This is definitely still too runny. And again, just slowly pour the bubbling butter. Easter, will you check if the eggs are still good that are in there for tomorrow's Eggs Benedict? The traditional Christmas dinner, yeah. Let's see, ooh, way too runny still. All right, we definitely need more butter. No! Okay. That butter sauce, yep. Sister Food needs her own cooking stream. I have actually considered it. I wouldn't be very regular though, so.
you know, I mean, YouTube videos would be fun. I did actually film um, how to make dad's chicken for you. I have a couple of videos. I, yeah, last time I cooked it, I made a couple of videos with instructions on how to make it for you. That's so cute. Yeah, so I made sister, so I made How my, sweet is that? Oh did my you, God. Did you tell him I made you cry? I have to go and chat. Yeah, <laughs> Mary Krampus. You should, you should be proud of making your sister cry, but I'm like, it's that good? It's that close to dad? Yeah, this is basically her stream right now. I'm the dishwasher. Yeah, I've taken over. Easter Fu has taken over the stream for a moment as we make some holidays. Hang on, that's the sign. <laughs> Look, <laughs> that actually means I've overdone it. The microwave is a mess, sorry. <laughs> I'm a very, very messy cook. And that's just, that's just me, and that's not the wine talking. You just resubscribed, you're sharing it now. Everyone knows how long you sub for. Thank you for the uh, that was Kim Marie, thank you. Kim, thank you so much. You're always on Dish Duty too. Well, my food is in the oven, so I just have to wait for it. All right, that is now four sticks of butter, guys. So Hollandaise and Bernays are a not. Sure. Yeah, that's done. Okay, thanks for catching that. All right, so the mix to make it a official Bernays sauce is done. I am actually gonna place it over here on the granite so that it cools down a little faster. I might straight up put it in the fridge. You have space, right? All right, let's see. Could use a little more heat. Yes, that was what the tarragon was in. So in order to rapid cool this, it's really not good for the pan, I'll put it in a bowl. Um, so to rapid cool the mixture, since I didn't start it soon enough, I'm gonna put it in the fridge, but first I have to transfer it to a bowl, which I'm gonna do over the sink, because I know if I don't, I'm gonna destroy our counters. Uh, Easter, will you get me a spoon? That spoon right there. Thank you. Uh, put them, so how do you tell if eggs are good or not? That's actually a really interesting one. So you wanna put them in, you wanna submerge them in water. If they float, they're bad. If they sink to the bottom, they're good. So for those of you who didn't know, you can use eggs past the expiration date. Like they usually last a little bit longer. Just make sure you use the float test. So all of them stand straight up but still touch the bottom, then they're like, then they're like, you need to use them soon, like within a week. So it's touching the bottom. Let me see. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, so those are the ones that we'll cook tomorrow. And now we need, all right. Yeah, they are shaking. Tasting spoon. Let's see where we're at so far. Still a little runny. Flavor's on point. But it could use a little bit more lemon a little bit more butter. Ah. Watch me accidentally over lemon it again. It's the one, my one fault. My one fault. I'm trying, okay? Don't, don't do it. I just didn't have anything. Just start a little less than you That's what I did. I just added a little bit more. Adding up the first time. Because this is a big batch. Okay, so 
Another stick of butter. This is five now. What? I just had them left over, so I kind of cooked them real fast just for the sake of it. Okay. All right. So one of the reasons why we need to cool the mixture that'll make this a Bernays sauce is so that it doesn't overcook the eggs. If you overcook the eggs, you're gonna ruin the sauce. That's one of the reasons why this is a great method to use. If not, use a double boiler, never do it directly overheat. Yes. Oh, hang on, wait, what's illegal in the UK? The reason, oh, oh. So, fun fact, the reason why eggs in North America are kept in the fridge is because eggs, uh, the egg people wash the eggs during production, otherwise move, removing a protective layer. So I'm guessing that washing them, oh, egg washing is jail in the UK. Oh, thanks, thanks, Mika. <laughs> I think it would be a good presenter, but. Vega said I was a good presenter. Yes, she's very good. Okay. So, adding another stick of butter. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly. Uh, hey, Seaster. I bought um, special stainless steel cleaning knives because I noticed the knives here were getting a bit rusty. Yeah, stainless steel cleaning cloths. That's what it was, not knives. Yeah. And they're in the drawer next to the sink. Along with the extra sponges. Food with foo! Yes. And Easter too. I like it. Good rest. All right, let's see where we're at as far as thickness goes. We're a little closer, it's still a little runny. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? Wow, freakish. Ooh. Wow. Let's see if we can thicken it up by causing the Vitamix to add a little heat to this. Or if we need that butter, we might, we might. Where's the lamb sauce? We're not making lamb, dude. I made a roast, uh, tenderloin roast. Mama's food is making lamb stew. Yeah, Mama's food is making lamb stew for tomorrow. For tomorrow. All right. Let me run this under the instant hot. Not that lamb is like my preferred type of meat, but I'm sure it'll be. Her lamb stew is baller. Yeah, so Mama Foo's making lamb stew for tomorrow. So, okay. The, the only baby animal The only ba baby animal she's cool eating is chicken. Yeah. Uh, still not quite where I want it. Yep, it could use a little bit more. All right, we want it to Kind of have the consistency of, that's a good one. Um, how do I explain it? Like melted cream, che cream cheese, weirdly enough. Like it should have that kind of cheesy, not like stretchy, but like it should have a melted cheese kind of consistency. It should look the way that um, a little thicker than the sauce that Foo was making. So we'll try, I'm just gonna add half this time. A stick of butter. And let's see if I can get it hot without it popping in the, um, yeah. Without popping in the microwave and getting it more of a mess, but you know, I'm a messy cook, so we'll see. For a good cause. It's for a good cause. Oh, Gordon Ramsay got it. Gordon Ramsay, I really do. Life goal of mine to go to his restaurant in London. All right. A little bit of water with my wine. Hot 
add to. So once you've added enough that like you actually get some thickness in the sauce, I do recommend um, starting to taste it because it does mean that the eggs are starting to cook so you're not eating like salmonella. Um, so tasting it as you go is a good way to figure out if you got the right ratio of butter to, um, to lemon. I'm actually going a little faster because I'm trying to cook it a little bit more. So she was reading chat and saw that you were saying that pretty good. I know you're trying to compliment Sister Fu, but she's oh. also very protective of me, so because Freakish would rather trade me for you because she's trading up, right? Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Yeah, see, he's still trying. <laughs> You're still trying to, to you just suck up, okay? Okay. He's not gonna buy it. We've actually got steam rising off of the holiday sauce right now. Like the environment is starting to move up. Okay. I would actually really like Seaster to do the taste test this time. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, go. Hopefully it'll be cooked enough in 30 seconds to do the next round. Oh, that's the right consistency. You want it just barely to fall off the spoon, like barely. It's so frothy. It should actually be less frothy. I know, it'll calm down. Cause I gotta reheat it, so I need it a little frothy actually. Oh. <laughs> On a green bean, I like it. Lemon. <laughs> you could use a little hint, but not much. Not a lot. Not much, because I like it Here, more. why don't you Maybe add the lemon? Do you ever add salt? It's salted butter. Mm -hmm. It's the right consistency. No, it's there. It's just we usually eat it on other things, so it's harder to tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we're going to do is reserve half of it in this metal bowl for tomorrow morning, for Christmas morning. I mean, I would fuck with that. I would fuck with that on some egg <laughs> Like, look at this. It's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it is salted butter. Look, it's my bee! It's my bee! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Bird! My bee! Yee! That's for tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Is that enough? <laughs> I think that's enough. We have more people for dinner tonight. Oh, we don't have bird tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Right. That'd be a little bit less. Bird, we miss you! Very butter. Maybe mm -hmm. it's like too much butter, not a thing. I know. I think it's too much butter. Mom? Mama Foo's calling. Okay. Um, uh, All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is we've got our cooled liquid. I'm sorry. Um, not the sink, use the trash can, come on. And also use your brain. So. We have a at least slightly chilled mix right here of our white wine, vinegar, um, shallots and tarragon. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple spoonfuls of this and try to get some good liquid in there too. Um, but the thing is, I really like mine a little chunky at the end. So we're only gonna add a little bit. We're gonna a little bit and then we're gonna blend it should be like half seasoned. And then, um, more paper towels. <laughs> so, it's gotta be about half seasoned. We'll do literally like. Just licking colonies off a spoon. 
Okay, um, and it's on set on a one for this. Don't forget to bring stuff to carve when you're there. I'm gonna pre-carve. Great. Okay. So. We'll do a little bit more. So we're gonna mix this decently. You still wanna see a little bit of the chunks, but. Um, I'm gonna dirty another spoon because I don't have enough. <laughs> Let's see how we're doing on flavor. Yeah, we're getting a lot more of the acidity from the white wine and the vinegar, the flavors of the shallots and the thyme. Um, uh, yeah. Breath of the Wild music, by the way. I did recognize this one. And do you know what town is? That was driving me nuts. I'm like Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild. Which one? Which one? Okay, now we need to. Oh, I think it will. Look at that! It's looking really good. It's looking delicious. All right. So this we set aside for tomorrow. some hollandaise on the edge, so we just wait. Hmm? Alright, now we're gonna add a little bit more of this and do a single pulse because I do like it a little more chunky. So. Alright, I think that's enough, but we'll do a taste test. Okay, I'll add one more. <laughs> All right, Sister, where'd your spoon go? Uh, it's up in the no. I'm good, though. Okay. Come on. Run it under the instant hot to sanitize between tastings. Okay. Yeah, she's super professional, B. I know, right? <laughs> See you in a few days. Hi, D the boss. How are you doing? <laughs> Too much butter? I don't understand what you're speaking. <laughs> it's just that flavor of the little bit of egg and like the, the hint of lemon helps add that tang. Or, or should like, I do need more? Well, mm, I need your opinion. It's like where I just doubt myself. Here you go. It's not really. No, I just did that to sanitize. Need more of the flavor? I think it does. Too much of something. Add lemon. It's the acidity of that. Yeah, that's too. That's. It cooked down a little bit more than it. It needs more of the the herby flavor and mm. less of the acidity. That one's easy. One of those is an easy fix. Okay, tarragon. <coughs> yes, I need more tarragon. I would, yes. I would mince it. I will. I'll make it a little smoother, but that's okay. If it says return to oven and bake for 45 more minutes, I don't know if that means covered or uncovered. Brown? Uh, that typically means uncovered but I would keep an eye on it. We also both still have to get dressed. Look Christmassy and nice. I have not made a like a Bernays sauce in like four years, so. Okay. It's not holiday and Nintendo music anymore. We've somehow moved away from that. What is this, like ukulele or something? <laughs> it is very tropical. Jungle. It sounds very jungle-esque. Yeah. Like where? Jungle like when is the rock gonna show up and it like a slightly dirty like tank and that same expression on his face? And he's still awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. We'll actually let this run a little bit so it'll chop these for us. Ooh, look at those potatoes. Yeah, this looks so good. Okay. Got more tarragon, so we'll give that a minute. Hang on, we've got a stubborn piece. Tarragon. It actually is kind of nice to use some fresh tarragon. No idea if this is going to be good. I know what I'm doing. I have a general idea of what I'm doing. There we go, that's better. Okay. I think once that sets, it'll be fine. All right, I'm done playing with it. Sorry. Okay, so now we will pour. May I please have a spatula to get all the rest of this out? There's a whole thing with spatula of hummus. Yeah, that's pretty good. Bernays. Okay. I mean, look how much we have. Oh, it's pretty full. Let's steal it. This has been like way up. I know, sorry. All right. It's all yours again. <laughs> Talking about margarine. Okay. What's up, Dad? Sorry, I really want to say like ducktails, and I'm so sorry if that was not your intention. I apologize. <laughs> All right, next thing oil storage. Talking about oils and stuff. Oh, stripes asked for a high five. Okay, there's a high five. Hi, stripes. How are you? Sorry we were scrolled up in chat. So now she's gonna carve the meat, and I just gotta wait for my potatoes to cook. Hi, songbirds. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas Eve! So she likes Oh Holy Night. <sighs> oh, what would be my favorite? Oh, I like the Splatoon song right now. No, um, my feet kind of hurt. Um, I, for, for hilarity, hilarity sake, I love, um, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. But Get also, thank you so much for the fun. Gifted a sub to Kung Fu. Congrats. You gifted Mary a sub to Kung Fu. Congrats. What's up, dude? Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm glad we got to see you this fall. Thank you so fun. Come visit again anytime, and we'll let you know when we're up there. Gifted a subscription to Kung Fu Fruit. There's a chance. There's a chance we'll see, we'll, we'll head up there for like a, a long weekend or something at some point. Hix really wants us to go with her, but we'll see. Um, uh, but yeah, you're great. Thank you so much, that was really, really nice of you. Dude, I'm trying to put cheese away so it doesn't get bad. Oh God, I'm sorry chat, I must have been left. Okay, we're getting cut some roast. Yes we are, first we gotta cut the strings. That was the best time, yay! We had such a good time, it was so chill. <laughs> it was super chill, dude. Really, really nice. 
Um, so yeah, one. we both love the Grinch. Yes. Original OG Grinch. The I mean, mean one, Mr. Grinch, so I good. I wouldn't touch it with a 29 and a half foot pole, so classic. Yes, so we both love to sing that together. And what about other favorite Christmas songs for me? People ask with the intention that I'll answer with one thing, and it's, it's not the it case. <laughs> oh, you're fun. Yeah. Do you want to answer this time? Oh, uh, probably not a good idea. Hey! Bring a trash bag? Yes, ma'am, we can bring a trash bag. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Let me get a, a trash bag out before I forget. Oh my god! Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hubba bubba. Hubba bubba. I know, I'm gonna put it and then switch it. Oh shit, are you ready to see this chat? <laughs> Up close and personal? <laughs> oh, but wait, hang on. Okay, I'll give it. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty good, right? <laughs> it's more pink on the camera than it is. It is. Than it is in than person. it is in person. Yeah, it's a little less pink in person because you don't see that red juice spilling everywhere, which is how you know you get, did it right. Yeah. This is Xenoblade. Yes, this is Xenoblade. All right. The mic does stutter. Yeah, I don't know why it does it with my laptop. I'll have to figure that out. Worst Christmas song. Mm, honestly. Well, that's, there's two that come to mind, and it's because of the lyrics, and that would be, uh, number one is Santa Baby, like, full digger. Fair enough. Yeah, but it's fun to sing. It is true. It's fun to sing. It's sassy. It's all that stuff. Um, I'm just, sorry. Okay. Are you going to say the, the, it's cold outside? Well, that's the thing. No, no, here's the misconception, mm -hmm. is it sounds really, it sounds really rapey, but the intention is that the song was made back in the 40s, 50s. Where it wasn't acceptable for a woman to stay over, to stay the night. Yes. But she wants to stay the night, therefore she must justify. She's making excuses because she's like, oh no, I really, I really need to go home. But, but like, it's cold outside, <clears throat> maybe yeah. I should say, because it's not acceptable. Right. So like, it's really about the woman being like, it's like, it's not about the dude being like, yo, you gotta stay, I'm gonna pressure you. The song is supposed to be about the woman being like, yo, I wanna, I want some fuck. You know what I mean? Give me that deep. That's what it's supposed to be. But yes, out of context, it sounds terrible. I think the creepiest one was when Frank and his daughter, Nancy, song, and I was like, that, that version. Like maybe, maybe. Yo, Andrew, thank you so much for the 86 months. Oh, wow, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, I'm probably just too loud and blowing off the mic. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Read the lyrics without listening to them or understanding the intention. Yeah, yeah for sure. Best Christmas movie? Um, Die Hard. Yeah, Die Hard's really good. <laughs> also, Grinch, animated Grinch, <clears throat> um, in my opinion. Uh, um, uh, this one should be a little bit favorite. more done. Well, look, it is. Got a little pink, but it's not. Yeah, definitely not fine. as pink as this one. Grinch goes hard. Oh, Nightmare Before Christmas, yes. Oh, yes. Top, top tier. Top tier. These are just random Nintendo songs. Oh, it's fall and autumn Nintendo music instead of mm, holiday. This does, well, this kind of seems a little springish, too. This is a transitional song. Next thing I gotta do is throw on some clothes for this Put it all together. And... Changed it back to snowy stuff. Okay. All right. So do need to drink more water, Pluto. Yeah. Didn't go all the way. It's a elf is like a great um, goofy holiday movie. For sure. So I feel like chat's about to murder me. I've never seen elf all the way through. Oh really? I've always seen so many different parts of it that like. I think I've seen the entirety of the movie, but like, I don't think I've seen it all the way through. Like, just sat down and watched the whole thing. Uh, so, Tones here in chat is, I believe he's joining us for New Year's now. We have room. 
It's been a process getting all my friends to be like, are you coming? <coughs> um, and So you would like you'd like him as a as a sous chef. No, it still is. It's struck a little bit, but the looser the curl to begin with, the less it will stay. And I've been in, like in front of someone like that one. Oh yeah. Okay. Hang on, ice machine. There you go. Lovely roast. Proud of this. Tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. Tastes very good. I'll take it. I'll take it. Guys, I didn't screw it up. <laughs> Yay! You never screw it up. <laughs> the Breath of the Wild Dragon theme music. The Christmas esque song. Interesting. Okay. Can you see the name and address withheld? <laughs> <laughs> Food. Okay, so there's um, cut meat. Yes. And then you need to get. Are the um, green beans all packed? Green beans are going to be packed next. Well, they've got a beef. Bernays is packed. What is this? What's that? Egg whites. Oh, those are the egg whites. Oh, I don't know where the lid is. Oh, okay. You didn't get the lid out of the thing. Okay, not. Okay. I know I put it back in here. Is it probably this one? Yeah, it is that one. <laughs> just hit on top of the other blue one. That might make one tomorrow. Okay. Oh yeah, you said maybe meringue. Yeah. Um. It actually looks pretty good in there. I don't think I could show Guys, you. The bubbling cheese is. I don't know if I can. I can try to show you. Oh yeah, this is I'm getting water. <laughs> anyway. Hi. Um, so this has been really fun. We got more time than I thought. Was the food's taking longer? And we're late. <laughs> Surprise. But you know, we've been doing what we could for hours. And that's just how it is. You know what? D a big family dinner often takes longer to cook than you would first think. Always. Always does. Same thing on Thanksgiving. Same thing, you know. It just happens. It just happens. I think you did great. Thank you. Tones, you're a great cook. Yeah. A little pan. Okay, got my water. Thank you, Pluto, for the reminder. Hyped for AGDQ? Of course I'm hyped for AGDQ. I have to figure out. <laughs> I have a show in three days. Can't forget about my show in three days. I'm getting my booster that day. Hopefully I don't feel bad for the show. Uh, it's fine. I don't know. I'm, I'm fine. I'll be fine. My arm will be sore and that'll be it. <coughs> no. I would never use this. Um, big booster fan. I've been meaning just finding time when I can like feel like crap for a day, which I just so I'm just doing it anyway. Um, uh, so, oh my god. At least rinse this stuff before we go to dinner. I guess this butter and egg will absolutely stick to this. That's okay. I understand that. Um, Uh, I forget what I was going to say, chat. You all are cool. Appreciate you joining me for this. And Sister Fu and her showing you all the cooking stuff. Wasn't that so much more? Yeah, I know. Haven't it been so much more 
fun and educational than when you watch me cook, because I'm like, I'm not doing anything great. I'm just trying to follow the directions for this thing I've never made that I want to try to make. Those are my streams. That's as good as you get with me. I'm like, here's how you cook an egg. Yep. Oh, that's funny though. That actually worked. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, somebody said it's pretty cute. That's what you're talking about. But I also have a hot fix show in a couple days, so I need to make sure I'm good there. I think everything's fine because I'm having on a fellow showrunner, uh, the one and only Fant, um, who's going to do some A Link to the Past glitch exhibition. It's like got a whole big thing ready. It's gonna be really cool. And then um, and then I have to organize all my other stuff for EGDQ. Am I organized? I just mean I need to do like, you know, recording any of my pre-recorded interviews and stuff. And then I hope you all are for the pre-show. I really, I really, really like our idea this year for the pre-show. And so I hope you all enjoy it too. We, Went through a couple iterations of ideas and settled on this one, and we had a lot of fun writing it and um, filming and stuff. And so I, I hope you enjoy. I think it's going to be pretty neat. I can't say it's going to be less cringy than pre -sh other pre-shows because that's up to you all to decide what you think. But hopefully the editing is good because that's pretty important for this one, and uh, and it's a it's a fun concept. Fun concept. What's up, Sumo? Sumo Thunder Frog, how you doing? Merry Christmas. What time am I looking at the show? It starts at 10 p.m. Eastern. It goes for a couple hours. Thanks, Melmo. That's really sweet. <laughs> this needs to be a tradition. Christmas cooking stream with the family. I can try. I usually don't stream Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, but um, you know, in the future it might might be a might be worth, yeah. It depends on, you know, where we're having Christmas and who we're having it with and how much we're actually cooking on our side. Because we're doing all of it this year for the immediate family rather than joining our extended family, which we usually do Christmas Eve. But circumstances are different this year, so. <laughs> I'm sad. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go get changed while the potatoes are cooking. Do you want to, do you have anything else you want to talk about with your cooking or are you done? Okay, she's done. Okay. Thank you guys for um, putting up with me. No, it's not putting up with you. I, you did a fantastic job. I'm going to do this split cam and I'm going to see if we can, hello. Um, I want to see how close we can get to the oven, to the oven, because I might not be able to finish the... I might have to like change and run, but I wanted to give you guys a glimpse of the potatoes. Oh my God, this is so dangerous. Or it's just not. Hey, wait. There you go. So that's what we got for the potatoes. So I'm gonna leave them in for a little bit longer. Um, all I gotta do is make sure that they're cooked on the inside, but. Uh, but yeah, aside from that, I think that is, um, where I'm probably gonna leave it for today because we got to changed. Because I think I could wear one out to the to the place, but you know I feel like that's maybe a little less appropriate. Not that a lot of the people there will care, but God certainly wouldn't care. But yes, yeah, I think it's great, and um, Sister Food did an amazing amazing job, and hopefully mine turns out well. We'll see. I have no idea. I keep making things I've never made before. So, woohoo. Wow, Vega, it's a good thing that I got any shit right now, or I'd be tempted to time you up. Um, saying These that the close. potatoes look like a singer, Michael Buble, because it's bubbly cheese, right? I know. Dex. <laughs> anyway, um, you all are great. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful. Yes, I know. So cool to have her on, obviously, and have like all of her expertise. Um, this is wonderful. Okay. Um, right, I gotta go dress myself. Thank you guys. You yes. guys are great. Thanks for supporting so much. Thank you for everything. Yes. Merry Christmas. Yeah. So. Uh,
basically what I was going to say. Is, thanks for being here. You all are great. Um, have a wonderful uh, Christmas or just happy holidays, whatever you celebrate, whatever you practice, you know, whatever makes you happy. Do something that you enjoy doing. Maybe be around people that you love, hopefully. Um, and uh, enjoy, enjoy tomorrow. And I will see you the day after. Um, yeah, I'll be five. We have to pick up Tyler the night of the 26th. So I might stream hours might be a little different. I'm also going to be sleeping part of the day away because Birdland's in the middle of the morning. So I got to figure out my exact plans for this day of the 26th. And then the 27th is the hot fix show. So, um, yeah. So stream will just be that on the GDQ channel. And then um, I'll stream a little bit off and on through New Year's and then Normal streams for a week, and then GDQ for a week. <laughs> yeah. Which I'll still stream, but you know. Yeah, this is all we can do for now, because Sister and I both have to change dinner, and her food is done, and I just have to wait for the potatoes to come out of the oven, and that's it. But um, otherwise, I'd just be like, I'm on break for 15 minutes, and I'll be back to take the potatoes out, and then we're done, so I'm just gonna end now. But yeah, thank you so much. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I love you all. Thank you so much for being part of this community and for joining us today. And um, you're super great. And uh, I'm gonna let you all go. So have a wonderful rest of your night and a lovely tomorrow. Also, thanks, Gills. Appreciate it. Thank you for 53 months. It's very sweet. I'll see you all on the 26th for Boxing Day. A little bit extreme. All right, cool. Thank you all. We'll probably do more Paper Mario then. See you soon. Bye, everyone. Merry Christmas.